as you guys are riding as fast as you can back to Emeron, uh, you burst through the main city gates because the hero just slashes them open without a second pot and he flies in with you guys following behind. Uh, you see that the populace is standing there confused and uh, the guards and the knights, they're not doing anything. It seems they're already under some orders, so they do not interfere. Nobody gets in your way as you guys make your way towards the palace and the throne room. <coughs> as you guys walk in inside the throne room, you see that somebody else is sitting in the throne. It's not the hero ephemeron, at least not the look-alike. It's this guy. Or, him. <laughs> if you remember him more uh, accurately, this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> His brother. Brother! <coughs> Ash, do it now. The Metal Gear thing. I already did brother, it. It's been too long. He does it way more <laughs> disgusting, dude. I was aiming for the disgusting part. Brother. Hi there, Marcus. It's been a while. Barnet smiles. Man. To think that she would hide you. Interesting. It no matter. The Necromancer may have held a trump card, but this conflict is already over. I have all the shards. Yeah, well, I'm taking them back. And he prepares his blade. Barnet is ready to fight. <coughs> Alexander gets his yep. blade ready as well, as Vitaly the dragon just stomps <laughs> behind them both. <laughs> yep, yeah, Roger draws a sword. So who else doesn't? So who else likes fighting against the entire world? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. fun. That would be great. Yeah. Mm. I expect that nothing sucks. but greatness. So exciting. Hmm. So exciting, Mon. Oh. Uh. Suddenly, one of the side rooms, uh, side rooms, um, the doors burst open. And a few figures uh, walk in. Of course they do. <clears throat> Just can't be a one on one fight. Ever. First is a mage covered in black dark magic. He says, Marcus, leave them to us. It's only fitting that we should be the ones to stop them. He, the mage then looks over to you, Taliwa, and he chuckles. Oh, hey, Taliwa. It's been a while. I see you're as short as ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all on. Some uh, two other figures walking behind him. <coughs> First, it's this giant uh, samurai guy with heavy armor who's making the entire earth tremble beneath him. He looks toward you, Roderick, and says, Oh, you. How annoying. Uh, do I know him? Some kind of grudge against you. Yeah, I don't <laughs> realize. He's bigger than even Rondrick, right? Yeah, he's bigger than you. <sighs> Holy crap, what did he feed people in this world? And then... Suddenly, a shadow appears behind you. Before you realize what's happening, Alexander, roll dexterity, you're being attacked. <laughs> Asshole! I'm sorry if the GM likes this more than you. Alexander, you manage to dodge nimbly just as a shadow appears behind you and tries to kill you. He, he looks over to you. Hmm. Still as fast as ever. But without my support, you guys are not gonna last this time around. Support? What? Oh, what's this? Uh, the Dark Mage suddenly speaks up again. What? Has it really been that long? You can't recognize us anymore. Well, I guess I am a bit taller now. 
uh, he starts removing his helm a little bit and you'll start to see the vague resemblance of O'Sullivan underneath the mask. Of oh, fucking course <sighs> it is. No! <laughs> no! Nice, I knew it was- Oh, he's corrupted! I knew it! Black That's magic! The best, bro! He's Dude, got one of the Grimoires. <laughs> you're going to kill one of your bros. Aw, oh, man. And I'm guessing- I'm going to look at him and say, You're Vic, aren't you? Don't speak man. my name so casually, vermin. Oh, I hit a nerve. Ah, uh, so that must make I'm you... gonna enjoy returning the favor to you, Roderick. You took my, uh, you took a very sacred thing from me, my human existence. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna take yours. I say being human's overrated and I'm gonna start turning into the avatar <laughs> to match his size. Uh, uh, by the way, O'Sullivan speaks to you, Tuliwa. How's about it, Tuliwa? We used to be friends, for all time's sake. How's about you do me a small favor? And, Does it and die quickly? <laughs> Please, you insult me. How's about it, Tolua? There's so much more you can do with your life. Why waste it here with, the, with this band of nobodies? Join me. You don't have to die here with them. There's nothing to be gained in opposing us. <laughs> I decline. I see. Very well then. I gave you <laughs> Alex, a choice. Alex looks a bit worried. <laughs> he then opens like, up his pools <laughs> and dark shadows start pulling out like black ink all over the place and monsters start getting summoned to surround him and protect him and then start uh, uh, start assaulting you, Taliwa. Ah, shit. Uh, mm. Roderick and uh, Victor are now locked in battle, and Alexander Amos got uh, uh, has got eyes on you. In the meantime, uh, the uh, the hero is moving up to face his brother, and they're trading blows. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna power up. Ah, shit! You failed. Still made it. Oh. Oh no, you don't, Alexander. I know all your tricks. Amo uh, bursts out a small potion and uh, chucks it at your feet. The, the, uh, the cloud dust that comes uh, nullifies the effect that you are trying to produce. Damn it! You didn't think it's gonna be that easy, did you? And he immediately runs up to, uh, towards you so he can have another opportunity to strike at you. But he's not attacking <laughs> yet, he's looking for an opening. <coughs> <laughs> Alexander's gonna have to uh, see if he can pretend to give an opening. Okay, Ropel's wisdom. Gonna try fainting. <coughs> uh, partial success. So uh, he is not gonna get tricked, but you don't suffer any penalty. You guys are gonna trade blows if you attack him. And if I don't attack him, I'll ju we'll just keep defending each other. Mm hmm. <coughs> I wish He's I knew how long that bloody. Hmm? Uh, the potion lasts for one for one effect, but you don't know if how many potions he has. So. True. <coughs> well, this is so rather entertaining, says uh, Marcus, as he kicks uh, Bar uh, as he kicks uh, the hero away, Barnet. And then he just looks over to you guys who are still locked in combat with your um, opposites, uh, with your quote-unquote best friends. He says, "Seriously, why are you here with this relic? His time has long since passed. Why did you come here? This could have been think? so much easier. Why did you come here raising your blades at me?" I told I tell him I told you because if you're gonna use the artifacts for evil, I'd kill you. Define evil, it. Roderick. Is your existence not evil enough? You were born because of death, malice, and necromancy. This world is tainted, and it's slowly dying. 
What exactly is evil about me trying to save it? I don't answer. I'm too, probably too busy fighting Vic. No, he's actually not giving it his all. He's just trying to hold you back. Oh, really? They're, uh, mm -hmm. they're trying to buy time. It's obvious by their action that they're just buying time. <coughs> Alright, I, I won't let him, so I'll do... I'll, I'll attack him. Okay, go for it. Fuck. Okay, he's gonna get a counter-attack. Go for it. <coughs> Where's the elf woman that was with him before? Good question. Who knows? <laughs> we'll never know. 17. Nice, nice shot, nice shot. His heavy armor blocks a lot of that, but you definitely manage to hit him good. As he, uh, before he strikes back, you see that uh, O'Sullivan's chanting, and he enhances his weapon with Black Gihana. You get counter oh hit for... <coughs> but Black Magic doesn't work on me. Oh yeah, Black Magic doesn't work on you. <laughs> well, I guess you didn't know that. In that case, he strikes you for... 16. My armor's 20. Okay. Like, in this form. In, like, uh, my armor. He says, O'Sullivan, what are you doing, you idiot? Black Magic won't work on him. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. You can, you're a tough guy, right? You can handle it. Fucking mage. As he's like, <laughs> as he's just looking at him, he's I'm, a gonna sorcerer. Try, I'm gonna try to bend bars and, well, I wanna try to break his armor with bend bars, move gates. Uh, he's not, uh, he's not stunned or immobile or helpless oh. in any way, mm -hmm. so he's not gonna let you do that. Okay. Talita, then I'll just munch on O'Sullivan. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <sighs> nom 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 nom. <coughs> Are you going to I attack? I go to attack. Yes, like, I, I go to attack. Uh, there's a lot of monsters between you and him, so are you then sure I'll you want to try? I'll attack the monsters. Okay, go for it. Are you shitting me? Right, no. so you fail, Mark EXP. The monsters, uh -huh. uh, rather than strike you back, they uh, when they catch you, they turn into glue and they nail you to the floor. You're stuck ah, in the black glue. Uh, the O'Sullivan gotcha. laughs. Stay there for a while, Tolua. Enjoy the show, why don't you? <coughs> he then casts a spell, and you see dark chains appear from the ground, and uh, even though the ghoul's already keeping you down, he binds you with the chains. No fair! I want to redo! Rematch! <laughs> uh, at this point, Marcus uh, speaks up again, the hero's brother. You wish to oppose me today to fight for a dying world, but what about tomorrow? The day after. What about after 50 years? You will one day be gone and would have achieved nothing but prolong the suffering of those left behind without achieving anything. Your whole convictions are, a la are as laughable as you are blind. Your actions are irresponsible and senseless, just like my idiot brother. If this world is doomed to die, then at least it should be swift so it can make a path for the future. Not one person gets to decide that, he yells out. Yeah, well, apparently we're at odds, because I'm the one who holds the power, and I'm the one who's going to decide. Alright, I'm gonna roll again. Attack Eddie. <coughs> oh, nice, do you wanna do extra? Uh... Sure. How much damage, how much do I do extra? I just wanna ask you, how much do I do extra if I do extra? Uh, roll a 1d6 extra. Uh, okay, hang on. And then 1d6, right? Yeah. So you deal extra damage, right? Yes, he's gonna hit me, I know. <coughs> so 19 damage. Another 19. You take another hearty swing at him, but before you do, he activates his earth armor, so he negates a lot of your damage. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Right, as he does that, he prepares to counterattack. And now, he seems to have grown stronger with his Earth Elemental. So now, his weapon is enhanced with the Earth. It's uh, it's very brittle, the Earth breaks off easily. But that's not what's important. The important part is, now it deals piercing damage. <sighs> so, I, I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna say the normal damage because he probably can't get through that. I'm just gonna say how much he pierces you for. Right. Wait, he but he rolled a perfect eleven. For six damage. How much? <coughs> six damage. You suffer okay. six damage. Wait. How but come he gets to attack? So, you, but so he deals only that. Took extra. Yeah, I did extra damage. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Okay, I was just wondering then. By the way, Alexander's gonna look towards the shadowy thing Amo has become, and he's gonna think for a moment. Hmm. He sees that you you're that, thinking uh... about it, and uh, he just laughs at you. Come on, Alexander, we both know thinking's not your strong suit. Just do Alexander's your worst. Alexander's gonna... <laughs> You're gonna fail either way. What, by the way, while he's talking, I'm gonna get out the, of jar of fluid, and I'm gonna pour it down my tonfa. <coughs> No, my blade, sorry. He's gonna pull it down his blade. That's the same kind of uh, thing that he made before, if you remember. Mm -hmm. To cure him. Uh, Marcus uh, speaks up again. What? None of you have anything to say. You see the world is on the brink of death, and yet you still try to stop me. Why? Alexander because... speaks up as he's applying the fluid. He's like, there is no need for words. Our actions speak louder than anything we can say. But if you wish to exchange them, I will simply say the same thing I told that damnable sword. No matter how long it takes, no matter how many generations, a hero will always rise to set the world right again. Uh, Barnett speaks up as well. The survivors carry the feelings of those who have passed away on their shoulders. It is a very heavy feeling. It crushes a person or it makes him stronger. I still carry the world on my shoulders, and I have found people who do the same. You will find us not so easily broken. And uh, those, Marcus and gets angry at those words and just says, The strong survive, the weak die. It's a universal truth. Your actions are in vain. You stand alone against numbers you cannot even imagine. Hero just uh, shrugs his shoulders and says, You're right, which is exactly why the strong have a responsibility to protect the weak. And I'm gonna show you what that means right now, brother. <coughs> and they continue fighting. <laughs> While that's going on, after having applied the vial, he's gonna toss it away. <coughs> and then he's just gonna. Elmo, tell me if you remember this, and then he said you're gonna to dash towards him, attempting to do the same thing that they did on the troll before to strike the back of his knees. Uh, you're basically using your divine magic, right? Or yes. Just the Along with. Okay, no, I'm go gonna. For it. I... Mm. <coughs> All right. Do you want to do extra? No. By the way, I got that poison shadow water stuff on it. That's what I poured on it, by the way. So you got to tell me what I do there, but is he corrupt? I suspect no, he is. No, he's not corrupt. Only uh, also the nah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you managed to he strike him the back of the knee, and as he's stumbling forward, he does. Uh, <clears throat> he ends up on his back and spins his legs around, trying to catch you. But he manages just to... you manage to get just out of his reach and then he leaps back to his feet. Tricks Alexander. You were always good at them. It's shame they're all pathetic. Maybe you can land the job at the circus after we're done. <laughs> Maybe, but you forgot one vital f piece of advice. No, oh, one vital piece of... Like, you missed something. I'm on this side now. Fuck it. Fuck it. I can't say it. You just Yeah, I don't know words. <laughs> no, he's just yeah, no, yeah, he's it's like, like eh, eh. you just missed something. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's like I'm on this side now. That means he's closer to the battle going on between the two brothers. Uh, yeah, and he just says, "Oh, so what?" You see him, he's reaching behind his back. As you reach I'm gonna try countering him with a throwing dagger. Go for it. 
hack and sl uh, with dexterity. Yeah. Okay. So he, when he uh, throws three daggers forward, you manage to skillfully throw one back, and you manage to knock all three of his out of the air. They ricochet against each other and go in different directions. He says, "Hmm, not bad. How about this then?" He then um, reaches behind his back again, and he throws one of the knives, but it's but it's not going towards you. It's actually going towards a nearby wall. How do you react? Nearby wall? What? <laughs> Get ready, because it's probably something bullshitty. He then starts, uh, he then starts uh, dashing towards you. What do you do? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna attempt to go towards him, but I'm gonna... Sus Actually, can I use intelligence to try to calculate what it's... Like phone about. Uh, you wanna calculate its trajectory? Yes. Okay, you can try that if you want. Partial uh, stress. You're it? not sure what happens to the knife. The knife. You're definitely sure the knife is not gonna ricochet in any sh shape. You do realize you just rolled con. You rolled con. As soon as the knife reaches the wall, suddenly it disappears. Oh wait. But then he's right in front of you and he strikes. What do you do? Hey, England. Um. L. Hey. Ash, you rolled con instead of intelligence. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you already said again. what happened anyway. Roll again, doesn't okay. matter, roll again. You yeah, same one. effect, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. He's right in front of you and he's about to strike you, what do you do? I'm gonna attempt to uh, parry away his sword. Okay, Dex. He doesn't have swords by the way, he's using uh, fist-like weapons. Okay, you managed to parry his blow away. Let's see how long you can keep this dance up, Alexander. With just one leg. And as he says that, huh? suddenly the knife that disappeared into the wall is right behind you. It's about to strike you on the back on the knee, just like you struck him. <laughs> oh dear. It used some kind of dimensional travel, by the way. It's about to strike you on the back of the knee, and he's right in front of you. What do you do? You should jump over it and um, hit him in the knee, so he can't be an adventurer anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna try to avoid it. Okay, let's see how well you do. Roll. Oh, actually, can I try um, a burst of wind just to deflect it away and get him yes. some distance away from me? You can. Hmm, okay, so here's what happens. Well, it's not good. <coughs> you can eat, uh, you can burst the knife away, but he's gonna get a strike on you since he's right on top of you. You can eat the knife and use the wind to knock uh, uh, ammo back away from you, or you can burst the wind and your and the knife is going to fly off course and hit someone else. <laughs> is it random? Does it have to be a party member that's gonna no, hit? No, I get to choose who it hits. Oh, then it's obviously gonna be a party member. Um, you know what? Alexander doesn't know about the choice, so I'm gonna suspect just the third one. Okay, so you burst the knife away. The knife flies, and it hits the hero of Emeron in the side from behind him. Yep, I knew it. As soon as that happened, Marcus takes advantage of the situation, and cuts him down. Uh, he, he strikes uh, very hard at his chest and manages to land a good shot. The hero of Emerald is bleeding profusely as he is knocked and kicked back. Uh, Marcus then uh, quickly dashes forward to try and finish him off. Oh, shit. Um, Damn it. <coughs> hang on, I got a... If you want to go try to stop that, I can try to hold... I, I can grow two torsos, so two torsos of the Avatar can fight. <laughs> right. I guess since I did it, I gotta go and save him. <laughs> right, I got Amos I got right two hold. Uh, Amos on top of you, by the way. Just saying. I wanna. My I'm gonna grow another torso. I'm gonna punch at Amo. Basically, it's like two people, two torsos. Like, what? <coughs> one is on the back of the other one, so it's like. Uh, it's, if you want I, to do it, that's basically gonna deplete some of your uh, ethereal form. Um, it's not gonna completely break it, but it's gonna deplete it a lot. 
Uh, what do you want to do, Al uh, Ash? Do you want me to do that? Or are you gonna? You need to tell Roderick now. I can do a combo of effects. It's fine. All right, then I'm gonna <laughs> fight Eddie. Not Eddie, Vic. But right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my defense against him, my, one of my holds, because I got more thanks to my level up. Okay. So he's shielded, but at the same time I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, use my you can't shield the hero. Can... Yeah. Uh, you can't do that. You don't know why. What? You can't do it. Something is interrupting you. Can I use my Eldritch magic? You can shield magic? yourself. <laughs> So, like, uh, no, your okay. magic doesn't reach him either. He's isolated somehow. Uh, okay. Ash, use, your shield on you. use your shield on you when Amo's gonna attack you, and then you can just use the wind to go over there and try to parry the blade. Well, can that be for the wind then? So I can just quickly dash away from Amo faster than he can strike me. Oh, you can use the wind to dash away from him, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd I dash away from him and head towards the hero so yeah, I can intercept the attack. He did. He got 12. <laughs> Oh, you got 12, nice. Okay, so you dash towards the hero, but something gets in your way, and uh, now it materializes. It's a barrier. That's as far as you go. Th this is, a, uh, this <sighs> is uh, a private moment. Don't interfere. Wait, and this as, makes uh, no she sense. She says that somebody walks up to her and says, yeah, you've done enough. And then she starts uh, attacking you, uh, Alexander. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Am I still chained down? Yeah. You can try to break free at any time, Tally. I wanna break free. Okay, roll plus strength. <coughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna allow you to break free, but the oh. chains are gonna rip at your flesh and deal some damage. Sure. Wait, you does take... my armor negate it or no? Uh, no, it's piercing. Oh. Okay. But you can shed if you want. Okay, well, let's see what it is. Uh, you take 6 damage. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. As you break free, Taliwa, you're the first to realize that O'Sullivan has been missing for some time now. He's nowhere oh, to be go? found. Oh, my bro's gone. Asshole. He's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Shit. Roderick, my one weakness. plus charisma. Okay. We seem to be severely outnumbered. Give me a second. You have mm. no idea. <laughs> Against the world, motherfuckers. Nine. Nine. Uh, Roderick, you feel a strange sensation flowing through your body. You're, you suddenly feel uh, uh, an insane amount of fear coming from the blade that you're holding. You're scared of your own weapon and your instincts are telling you to let it go, throw it away. You don't want to be anywhere near it. You're trying to resist the effect. You are gonna have to sacrifice some of your ethereal form to uh, negate the, the fear effect that's trying to grip you. Or you're gonna have to throw away your blade. Question, can I throw away my blade at Vic? <laughs> No, you're throwing it out of fear. You're not throwing it uh, as something. Oh, I definitely want to hit him. No, you're uh, throwing it on the spur of the moment out of fear. Okay, I have a, I have like ten more moves. So yeah, I'll get rid of it. I'll. Okay, I mean, I won't uh, get rid of the plate. I won't get not. I'll just grip it tighter. Okay. Just, uh, it, you more you solid. you gut through the effect, and the ethereal form loses a bit of its strength, but you're uh, you're under control. The fear does not grip your heart. So you're, you're still controlling it. In the meantime, you see that uh, the hero's brother goes in for the finishing blow. He actually trades with Barnet. Instead of defending or anything, they both strike for each other trying to kill each other. Barnet manages to uh, get a good blow in on Marcus, but Marcus is the one that deals the finishing blow. Of course he, he stabs, does. Uh, he stabs Barnet through the heart and he goes limp on the floor. As that happens, uh, the barrier protecting them lifts up and Marcus pulls his blade away and starts walking back towards his throne, not not uh, even uh, throwing a side glance back towards his brother's remains. On the other hand, though, these two girls that are helping, uh, that are helping Marcus, 
both seem uh, very saddened by the sight of watching Barnett die, but they just ignore their personal feelings and continue fighting. Hmm. There we go. We're That's one nuisance down. We're so fucked. <laughs> um, I want to throw Addy out of the way. Are you really willing to give your lives for this cause? You fools. Why are you opposing me? This makes no sense. I say, life makes no sense. Deal with it. I'm gonna try to get Eddie out of the way. Okay. Like, just fucking sucker him out of the way. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. Fuck me. Not damage. Not, oh, that's not, damage. Uh, Shit, yeah. you're right. My bad. Strength, okay. Uh, so here's well, what's gonna happen. You rolled pretty good, but... He is under the influence of his uh, earth armor, so he's pretty uh, pretty hard to move. I'm gonna allow you to move him, but if he gets a counter attack. All right, Roderick's enraged. He's gone almost full berserker. Okay, he, he can... pierces you for another six damage, but you can literally hurl him through the air and smash him in a wall if you want. Yeah, you just <laughs> see Roderick like he gets stabbed through the ethereal. <laughs> And he's a wrong move. He's gonna pick him up and just throw him through like a wall on the side. Mm. As you uh, as you hurl him at the wall, he smashes through the wall and then smashes through another wall. He's like two rooms away. He just literally smashed through a couple of walls like they're nothing. Uh, Marcus sits down in his throne, ignoring his wound and just shakes his hand. What a waste. Truly, what a waste. Let's call this party to an end. This is most uh, most uh, dissatisfying. I have a world to say if I don't have time for you fools. As he says that, uh, the five enemies that you're <coughs> facing uh, start focusing. Since there's only three of you left, it seems like an easy pick, but he decides that he doesn't want to wait anymore. You see that he uh, in uh, that he summons something. The fire uh, there suddenly a fire spreads throughout the room, and he summons a vengeful fire spirit in berserk form. And Roderick, she seems to be rocking the same kind of ethereal form you are, enhanced by her flames. And she is looking. I still right know how the fuck that dagger hit him. Roderick's like, it flickers into a skeleton like hers is, but then you just see like, he's 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 drawing more of his essence into it. Just armor just like, clangs down onto his. And he's like... <sighs> it's not that easy, is it? And he's gonna say, come on then! She lets out a roar. Uh, the fire spirit is very enraged and bloodthirsty. Just like the earth elemental you met at the uh, arena. Uh, while this uh, uh, fire spirit is focusing on Roderick, the, the other five uh, enemies are focusing on Taliwa and Alexander. Basically, uh, two, on, uh, two, on, uh, two on Alexander, two on Taliwa, and O'Sullivan is once again hiding somewhere. Uh, shit, I want to... I might have to By use... Way, I... By the way, I... By the way, I do oh. have Listen to Magic, just so you know. <coughs> I have an ear for magic, so I could probably track him down. Oh, he's hiding in the corner, dark corners of the room. Can I, uh, does she have a soul? The spirit? Uh, no, she's a spirit. She doesn't have a soul. She's Damn just. It. She's basically the personific uh, personific personification of pure rage, madness, and fire. I want to cut Mark. I, I kind of want to cut Marcus's string of life. Mm. <sighs> Can I actually make an action to not, like, kill these people, like, on the strings? Can I just, like, make an action, like, I'm grabbing them and that could weaken them? Uh, because I'm, like, I'm getting ready to cut your string and that's gonna weaken you. Uh, no, unfortunately, no. Or So it's just, I cut it or not? Okay. Yeah, you either cut it or you don't. You can't just touch it. <sighs> hmm. Sh should I cut? Uh, I kind of want to cut a Sullivan's because he's being really annoying with magic. Speaking of magic, 
you see that suddenly there's a peculiar blast of magic coming from where, uh, from where Barnett was lying around. And his, his, his wounds suddenly start closing up and he starts getting back up. Marcus looks confused for a moment as he's getting up, but Barnett is way more quicker. He got the jump on him. And Barnett strikes uh, disarming Mar uh, Marcus on the spot. As Marcus is standing in his throne, uh, Barnett just holds the blade to his, uh, to his throat. Marcus looks very confused. What? How? You forget, brother. You were never the adventurous type like me. I've been to many <laughs> places and I found many interesting trinkets. He removes a small chain from his neck that looks like a artifact that was holding a burst, but it's now, now broken. It's uh, the little you recognize it as a necklace similar to yours, but it's uh, basically oh. a replica. It's the kind of thing that can bring back life. <sighs> if I was Shit. to die so easily, I wouldn't be the one that uh, revered as a hero, right? <laughs> now, go off everyone. He then he de he just realizes because <coughs> when he was fighting, the two girls hadn't revealed themselves. But the hero looks, uh, his smile disappears when he sees the two girls uh, that are fighting you, Alexander. He locks eyes with them and realizes, Valerie, Lily, why are you helping him? You've been gone for a long time, Barnet. Things have changed. You can't help this world. Your role is over. Only he can. Mm. Yeah, well, I'll be the one to decide that. Barnet. If you value your head, then stop this now. Marcus starts to laugh. Really, you mean brother. you mean Marcus if you value your head? Because you said yeah. I'm getting okay. confused with all the names. Okay. It's fine. Marcus laughs <laughs> as the blade is uh, at his jugular. You disappoint me, brother. Did you really think it was gonna be this easy? Come on. I've spent so much time preparing for this moment, and even now I can see your hesitation. You don't have the courage to strike me down. Just like you didn't have the courage to kill the necromancer when you had the chance. She can't die. <laughs> As he says that, suddenly uh, a small portal opens and uh, it uh, grabs uh, the divine blade that uh, uh, Barnet is holding. It's actually the Fate Weaver. And he forces Barnet back before he could deliver a finishing blow. My, my, my. It seems I am late for the party. Excuse my tardiness. <laughs> Why? He looks over to, <coughs> to you, Alexander, uh, Toliwa, and uh, Roderick. This could have been so much easier if you guys just would continue doing what I asked for. I mean... Look at your friend! Wait, wait, where did I put the fate where I can't find him? He's a bitch. <laughs> I can cut his soul now. And... This could have been so much easier if you guys just continued to do what I asked you for. I mean, look at O'Sullivan, Victor, and Amo. They found what they were looking for. I, I honored my word to them because they did as I asked. Why oh. couldn't you just do the same? Because fuck you, that's why Roger yells. He's not, he's not happy. But wait a second, he left the boundary of his own free will. Uh, no, he's uh, just poking out. He can't uh, leave yeah. it under his own power. Yeah, that's why Alexander turns to Roderick and he goes, Roderick, now! <sighs> I, I'm, I'm probably like facing the chick down, staring her, and I look at him and say, I think it's been enough time, you spinning in your cage. And even if I take the hit from her, I'm gonna... Like, you see, like, Roderick reach out, and he's gonna start, like, pulling forward, like an ethereal chance yeah, coming out. Uh, By the way, sure as he does that, that, as he's trying oh, to I'm reach out fucked. to... I know. I know, no, I do you're really... reaching Okay, out. if you wanna endure the fire elementals attack, roll plus con. Hang on! As he's reaching out, and I'm there, I'm gonna actually attempt to use my... Because since Amo doesn't know about this power, I'm gonna attempt to use the water spirits to cover him. Okay. <coughs> Roll for it. Okay, what do you wanna do? You wanna trap him? I'm basically... <coughs> no, I'm basically covering for Roderick as he's reaching out to the Fate Weaver. 
How? Like, I've just it's what? like I mean I'm like encasing it in uh water. You're encasing his giant form in water. So like I, I guess yeah, it's because like you know fuck fire. Okay, so like roll plus con Roderick and you get a plus one for the water effect. Mm. Oh, remember, I'm I'm an inspiring thing, so you get another <coughs> plus one from me. You never did that, Bo. Then, okay, so Roderick, uh, as you're moving through, I didn't roll <laughs> ten. I got ten. <laughs> this one D twenty plus, you know, four, and then plus five because the one. Wait, what's oh, that? The one D twenty for? Uh, what's your con? My con. Oh, constitution is one D. Never mind. I'm gonna roll uh, that. It's two D six. Pathfinder. Jeez, I am so. Six, I am just plus, so. Uh, whatever your con is. Yeah. <coughs> Ten. Okay, great. So, as as the as the wrath of the fire elemental comes upon you, you're gonna take no no damage. But she completely destroys and obliterates your ethereal form. Okay. That's. F I'm so fucked I after that. But... <laughs> no, it did. It did. It saved me. It did not let me take the damage. Dude, but, this is uh, the the, inc the incarnation of one of the four strongest elements in existence. I mean, thank you surviving like, an attack like that's no small feat. Yeah, and Roderick's just the, even after it's been like destroyed, you just see like you know smaller, I guess eight feet tall. Roderick is still jerking like on the like he's like drawing him in, like he's basically. <laughs> and I want to do it. Go on then. I will sacrifice one of my levels. You're going for the. Uh, if you want to pull him out of there, you don't need to sacrifice the level. You only need to sacrifice if you're trying to kill someone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I've reached my views. I've, my power can let me draw him out of the boundary. Alexander said, now I'm gonna try. Hmm. Uh, the Fate Weaver doesn't react to you come and cut him. He just laughs as you're getting closer to him. So you're gonna reach out and try to grab him out, right? Oh, I thought I could just like do like a force thing when I'm pulling them out, kind of deal. Oh no, like... no, this is different. It's not like your ultimate attack. You gotta oh. roll for it. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that was... I thought I was using my ultimate attack because I could no, draw. No, 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 this is not your ultimate. That's why you're not l losing a level. No, oh, my God, you said that was part of my ultimate because it evolved. Yeah, it's part of your ultimate because it's linked, but it's not the same. Okay. <laughs> Basically, your power is called screw the rules, I have money. That's what your power yeah. is called. 15, mm. okay. So you grab a, a nice uh, good chunk of him, but uh, he just laughs because you see that there's a lot of chains on the other side holding him back, preventing you from yanking him out. He just laughs at you and says, did you really think it's gonna be that easy? He just laughs, but then you realize that there's something behind him. And what you see mm -hmm. is, you see two very powerful figures. Start to I swear attack to... him and break the chains behind <laughs> come him. Come on, Shibukawa, come on, man, I need you here. You see the White Knight and Shibukawa are working together oh and goodness. they're breaking his chains. That's what's happening behind you. And that's I've... not all. The Fate Weaver is still way too strong. He starts struggling against you and he starts pulling himself back before his chains can be broken. And that's when you see something else. It's Ruru. Who materializes behind the be, from the other side from the boundary? He materializes behind the Fate Weaver, and he's holding uh, the White Knight's blade in hand that Alexander gave him. He just says, "This is for Melissa, you bastard!" And he slashes <laughs> at his back. The Fate Weaver screams out in pain as Roderick yanks him out of the boundary. The Fate Weaver Alexander has a wild grin a, across his face. Physical body. <laughs> you just hear Roger yell, and you just see Frost just like expel. You're dead. Uh, the Fate Weaver screams out. Roderick is the only one who can finish me. Kill him first. Like you see that uh, everybody else forgets about Tolua and Alexander and they're about to storm <laughs> you. And so, since you're exhausted, you're pretty much uh, left to whatever's gonna happen next. However, uh, the ceiling breaks open and two people enter the fray. It's two people that you actually do not know. <coughs> this is the first guy. Uh, it's Conan. <coughs> Uh, you may have uh, 
uh, heard from him because Alexander has been reading a lot of books about heroes and such and about what the hero has been doing. This is Battlemaster Feldon. He was called the Frothin Berserker. He's, he's basically, uh, if you met the last Amazon, he is believed to be the last barbarian, the last of the half giants. He towers over everybody else inside the room. Even Victor. And he just has a giant battle axe and a, and a uh, satisfied grin on his face. He looks uh, ready to uh, bust some heads open. Uh, Barnet looks over to him confused and uh, he exchanged some words with Feldon. From what it seems, it seems that they used to be great rivals and enemies. Always enemies, never allies. But then Feldon says, I guess I lived long enough to make you an ally as well. What a fucked up world. <coughs> so he's here to <laughs> help. The other person that enters the room <coughs> is this guy. <laughs> that again, none of you recognize. He's still badass. Or is it she? I don't know. <laughs> he he comes sister. down, Roderick, and he actually protects you. He uses wind powers to block everybody that was trying to attack you, Roderick. So he's a wind user, just like Alexander. <coughs> <laughs> you alright yeah, there, friend? Yeah, and you just see Roderick punch the ground as he's starting to stand up, because, you know, he's like, enraged. This is finally the time. <laughs> Looks he's... like you got a fire burning inside you. I like it. You just see steam <laughs> come out of his uh, out of Roderick's armor. <sighs> just looking, staring at the Fate Weaver. Uh, Eyes at the meantime, uh, as this is going on, uh, Alexander, the hero of Emeron is uh, right next to you, <coughs> and he's saying, "Alexander, if that spirit continues going berserk, things are gonna end very badly for us. We have to stop her. Help me." Understood. Got any suggestions? Uh, it seems some time has passed and my powers are not as strong as they used to be. But I still have good control over wind, water and earth. I'm gonna take her spirit inside me. But to do that we need to weaken her. I'm gonna need your help for that. Understood. You're gonna be okay if you take that thing inside you though? <laughs> he smirks. Who do you think you're talking to? I guess you're right. <laughs> he then, then stands next on. to you, and he he then stands next to you and starts chanting something. And uh, your wind power and he start to uh, merge together and grow stronger. Come forth, wandering wind, nomadic traveler crossing the sky and wilderness. Bear within thy the light of stardust and blind all in your radiant glory. Summer tempest. Curve wild fires are suddenly engulfed in a powerful tornado. And he switches to wind, uh, to water magic to try and cool off the tornado. So roll plus charisma to help him. <laughs> or you can also roll charisma to like help him or power him too. Right? Right? Yeah. Alexander, <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up. God damn it! We're you fucked. Oh my no goodness! But he, but the hero is gonna need more time to tame the fire elemental. And since he's kind of got his hands busy. Somebody tries to strike at him uh, 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 with the opportunity to interrupt him. Alexander, if you don't defend him, he's gonna fail. Um, uh, if that's the is case. coming to surprise attack him. <coughs> Victor is if literally okay. in his earth form. Uh, he came running through the, uh, charging through the wall, uh, through the hole in the wall, and he's charging like a rhinoceros. I'm the Juggernaut, that's the bitch. Case, He's headed then straight I'm not... for the hero. If that's the case, then I'm not going to take any chances. That's probably the reason why he failed, because he heard the boom, 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 and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> he's going to turn around, and I'm going to use one hole to defend us. Okay. As the as uh, Victor slams into you, you, <coughs> you manage to stop him dead in his tracks. He's actually surprised and says, not bad <laughs> for a wimp. And then he prepares his uh, weapon to start attacking you. I get my own You always ready. were too soft, Alexander. I'll, I will break you. Since I have the time, since he's getting his weapon ready, I'm going to try powering up. Okay. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with my rolls today? 
<laughs> oh, Amo wow, just I'm not succeeding on every roll, Jesus, guys. Uh. Amo just comes out of nowhere and throws a hook at you. Fuck you, Amo! <laughs> By the way, you're joking, but Alexander, here's what happens. Your effects are gonna go through, but you see that the dagger is gonna blindside you. Is that okay? Or do you wanna dodge the dagger and you won't get the effect? Uh, I'll take the dagger. Okay. So, roll your effects. <coughs> Well, I just get I get them the plus two d six and I'm also wait who needs healing? No, uh, no one. I still have like twenty eight health. I have half my health. You know what? Since, uh, since you the deck is gonna blindside shot, me, dude, that's for twelve damage. How much health do you have left? I had fifty six due to the uh, avatar. Remember? Yeah, but the avatar is now gone. Remember? Yeah, but you said but the avatar didn't count because it's like overcharged health. Ah, okay, okay. That's yeah. what you told me. I remember you told me this. But, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. If that's the yeah. if that's the case, then I'm just gonna say that I just use the flipping one d eight like the two d eight damage healing on me since the hero isn't damaged anymore either. So in other words, I take the dagger, but it just grows out of me. No, you <laughs> heal and then the dagger hits you. Oh really? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't use any other. I don't have any other. Uh, why don't talents. you get some plus one it. forward or something? Uh, yeah, okay then. I'll give Waldrick plus one forward since he doesn't work with NPCs. <coughs> he doesn't work with NPCs. I don't know. He <laughs> yeah, kind of you pulled, said pull the combo with guy from the you know from the boundary to get the fate weaver out of there. Yeah, but you said it doesn't. Remember last time I tried it? You specifically oh, yeah, said no, it doesn't that. work yeah, sure. with NPCs. I thought you mean Roderick doesn't work well with NPCs. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, so the dagger hits you on the back of the knee, Alexander. You will not suffer damage, but for the next, for the rest of the fight, your dexterity is at minus one. Ah, so I only got plus two then. Oh no, only plus two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, slow me down. Alright, since I've powered up, I'm gonna attack. In the meantime, thanks to your efforts, the hero has, has managed uh, subjugating the fire spirit. Her flames eventually begin to die out and she becomes more normal. Her ethereal form is blasted away. She's still super pissed because she was used against her will. She, she, her blade swings and she erupts a great uh, wall of fire that starts scorching and dealing damage to the uh, some of your enemies. And they take uh, quite a bit of damage in this scuffle. After that, she goes inside the hero. And now he controls once again all four elements. By the way, can we say that I gave uh, Roderick the damage upgrade since I don't actually need it? <laughs> I just re realized that. I actually, I don't have to roll the hit. I just kill someone <laughs> with the ultimate power. Hmm. Uh, uh, hmm. Because that's how it was I written. I keep it. You sacrifice like a shit ton of your like you sacrifice a level and maybe two, but you kill a person. If you literally rip their soul out. Yep. <sighs> right. So the hero got all his powers back. What's next on the menu, guys? What's going on? I want to try to finish yes. him off. Finish who off? The Fate Weaver. I want to cut his soul. He's mortal now. He's on this plane. Yeah. I want to use my ultimate power. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, I don't know if we discussed this, but you cannot do it like constantly. It's a one-time thing and then you are pretty much spent. I know. Are you sure you want to try to use it now? He may have been yanked out of the boundary, but he's still as strong as ever. He just entered the fight. He's not tired at all. But he could just. But he just dies. It doesn't matter how strong he is. He can't get resisted. I tear his soul away from him. You, we discussed. I remember we discussed this about the powers. Okay. And everything. It doesn't if matter. you're sure now is the right time, go for it. Mm. <laughs> I don't like how that GM, how you're speaking, GM. But I mean, I'll just attack him then. I'll fight him. A normal attack? Yeah. Uh, your blade doesn't have any special properties or anything, right? Nope. And so he's just gonna do nothing. We've never but gotten you don't any enchanted weaponly ever. Your, <laughs> you don't need to roll damage. Your weapon just goes right through him. He just laughs and disappears into the darkness. <laughs> okay. 
he's hiding just like Sullivan. <coughs> Again. I can't let him I, I can't let him escape because if he if he you can try to escape back into the boundary and I can't I'm, I, I might not be able to get him out again so see that's why I wanted to give you my um the damage bonus but you said no keep it <laughs> I didn't say no keep it I can't even do damage to him because remember my weapon's not enchanted against him it would have been so enchanted <laughs> that's what oh, I do I wanted it. I told you to keep it I, I, I did not tell you to keep it I actually said I wanted it I didn't. I never said no, keep didn't. it. I never said keep it. <laughs> you never said, I said you wanted I it wanted either. It. Oh my god, Tell Alex. Me, Salilo. Mm. I have it on video. Fuck you. Never mind. It, whatever. There. I do no damage, and he's gonna try to escape. I can't let that happen. I will kill myself if it kills this person. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's the current oh. fibbing situation? I'm confused. Well, it's pretty much a free for all, and it's uh, pretty messy. <sighs> Maybe I should have made a map. Oh, yeah, I know. But good. But... So, who is it that we're all fighting? <laughs> we're all fighting different people. It's a, it's a free for all, and I'm, I'm getting confused by how many fucking people like he is here. Yeah. I just say we need to. Ki I just tell Alex we have to kill the Fate Weaver now. Would be helpful if I could find him. Yeah, good luck with that. Marcus just laughs. I think you've got more important things to worry about. Round them up and kill them. We still got the numbers advantage on our side. <coughs> Where's, uh... <laughs> Who's the big guy By fighting? Wait, ooh. Actually, can I use... It's like, um... Before anything, I'm gonna use Inspiring Presence. I suspect okay. you will respect me enough for that. But also, I'm going to turn around and put, get the hero and say, only, only your words can sway those two. And he actually gestures towards the two armored women. Oh yeah, he knows what you're talking about. I'll hold off the rest. Uh, can't believe I'm the one saying that. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can do it, Alexander. They seem to have made up their minds. <laughs> Gonna give up that easily? Of course not. But don't expect much. If you want, I can talk to them. I'm pretty good with the ladies. <laughs> I think it's time for them to stop underestimating us. Lily, do it. She seems to hesitate for a moment. I said, do it now. Talk Apparently, to her. Even though Talk she seems hesitating. like a knight, she has some kind of battle magic as well. She starts casting something, and the uh, elf girl Valerie does, uh, casts a barrier on her, so you guys cannot attack her. She's chanting. Right. I, Alexander says she's going to take this opportunity. He's going to go. <coughs> Why do you fight for him? It's clear that you don't want to. What we want is of little consequence, Valerie answers. This is the right thing to do. And you won't stop us. You're not so sure about that. Every single order he gives you flinch. That's no warrior. If you were so sure in your conviction, you wouldn't be hesitating. Shut up, you little brat. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what this fight means to any of us. So don't just speak your mind like you know what's going on. She's very angry. You're right. I don't know everything that's going on, but I know I'm doing the right thing. Well, just as we say, saving this then. world. <laughs> you just are like wrong. We say, saving this world. How can you say that? Didn't you fight alongside the hero? Yes, and that is precisely why I know that he cannot save this world. All these then powers I will. that you have been flauntlessly using around, earth, fire, water, everything, all of these powers are what's killing this world. You are as much to blame for this disaster as is that damn druid. <laughs> Your abuse of these powers brought this world to ruin. Why do you think one man had enough strength to fight an entire uh, undead army? Barnet. 
took all the all uh, all that power from the elements. This world is dying because of what he did and how he misused his power, just like he is doing, just like he is willing to do right now. You see that Barnett's not disagreeing. He knows she's right. Basically, all of you guys using your power so much, they're basically fucking up the world. <coughs> I, I would never have known that. So I mean, I can't help it. Ale Alexander, Alexander to his hand they are not moment. wrong. In fact, it seems like it's possible that we are the ones in the wrong. However, that does not change anything. They are simply doing what they think is right. Just like I am doing what I think is right. What about you? I know what is right. And even if our powers are causing all of this to happen, I will cast them aside once everything is calmer. I am the... It's like I am Ale Hero Alexander Ishimura, and I will set this world right once and for all from the mistakes of the past. <clears throat> then you hear someone uh, say something. Uh, this guy looks very ticked when you give your speech. I see you, you still run your mouth as much as ever. Nothing has changed. Huh? He looks Do away from you? you very pissed. By the way, you, you suddenly feel like energy growing inside him. He's got a hero mark as well. Oh, it's Hemlock. Congratulations. <laughs> By the way, do I recognize his voice? <laughs> oh yeah, you recognize his voice. Siegfried! Mm. Shut up! <laughs> Where the heck did you get that armor? <laughs> Shut up, now's not the time, asshole! He seems very pissed that you're trying to act the hero and now his, his competitive side is waking up. He needs hey, to if you wanna... <laughs> it's like, hey, if you wanna stop me, then feel free to step up your game. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of our two ladies here. <laughs> Speaking of which, this girl is finished casting, and she casts a white spell over the entire area. The spell effect is felt immediately. All of you guys lose your bonuses. And can I, I don't actually mean just can your I actually current defend bonuses. Against her? You lose all your stat bonuses. If you have negative or positive stats, none of that matters. Everything is reset to zero. So you now roll normal to these sixes without any penalties or pluses. Can I defend against that with my uh, <coughs> hold magic? No, because that's not a like physical attack. Ah, oh, but I wanted to. St I want to stop her because uh, that's what I did with the explosion. If you remember, I put somebody in a bubble and it was just on him, and that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I wanted to do that with her. Ah. Uh. Now then, let's see how tough you are after that one. Marcus is uh, again calmly sitting in his throne. His wounds have started healing by the way, he's been using some healing items as he was sitting down there. Remember, I, you still get my plus one. Oh yeah, you still get that one. <laughs> because right. I, I'm as so long inspiring. as Alexander's alive. <laughs> <laughs> This fight is taking forever. I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, I mean, I would sacrifice my entire like existence if I <laughs> take the fate weaver down. Yeah, well, first you you're gonna have is. to catch him. Where is he? I want to actually perceive where he is. Uh, roll plus wisdom. Okay. I'm honestly lost in this fight right now. I am too. <laughs> <well. laughs> I am too, I don't know who to fight, there's so many! <coughs> you see a shadow in the darkness. That's probably the Fate Weaver. What do you do? Oh, Sullivan. Uh... I'll attack it. Uh... Okay. Hang on, is I there anybody... <coughs> hang on, before I, before I attack... Is there anybody in front of me that could intercept me? Like, uh, Vic, there are, Abel. but uh, you're gonna get protected. Okay, I won't use my ultimate power yet, I need to make sure. So I'll just swing my sword at it. <laughs> Your, uh, as you swing through the shadows, you don't manage to hit anything. Is it still there though? 
Oh like, yeah, the shadow's there. It laughs menacingly at you from the shadows. And it's the Fate Weaver's voice, is it? Yeah. <sighs> I just say, today, I'm going to try to kill you. And he's going to start powering up. And looking then, at Roderick, it. Give me your best shot. And he laughs. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it, guys. I'm sorry if this doesn't kill him, um, but he will he will he will try to do it. And so you just feel Roderick's you know uh, essence spike and then compress, and then he's gonna swing his blade at the at the string. Just a sec. Wait, what the fuck? What is it? Oh, okay. Right, Roderick, as you grab the Fate Weaver, take his string and sever it, you lose a level of experience and your body takes a huge hit. Like, it probably you feel up. exhausted. However, it, rather than dying, the Fate Weaver just laughs and he fizzles away. And you realize that you cut someone else's string. What? You what? just killed O'Sullivan, who was taking the form of the Fate Weaver. O'Sullivan drops to the ground and his body quickly evaporates, and uh, yeah, there's quickly there's nothing left uh, apart from the grimoire he was holding. O'Sullivan's very existence has been erased. I'm dead. I'm yeah. I'm yeah. I fucking knew it. O'Sullivan, who was rolling a lot of wisdom dice back in the day and failing, was the uh, the only one of the three that was actually uh, under his corruption. The other two have begun serving him in one form or another willingly. O'Sullivan was just a mindless slave, so he died for his master. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you hear the Fate Weaver smoking laughter from the shadows, um, uh, Roderick. Good show, good show. Something tells me that this means I win. <laughs> no. No! And he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna... I'm gonna do... I... <sighs> Give in, Roderick. Aren't you sleepy? Take a nap. Isn't that what you've been hoping for for so long? It's okay. Just give up. No. <laughs> he calls. No. No. He's gonna punch. The, you know, weakly again. I will take my slumber when you are dead. Well then, if you're that determined, let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Suddenly, you hear <coughs> a monstrous roar. It's the kind of feeling that you get, Roderick, when you are around Chibukawa, like a very powerful monster being unleashed. And the Fate Weaver begins to change his shape. Suddenly, the entire, uh, suddenly there's a giant earthquake. And the entire palace bursts open as a giant beast is looming over it. Oh, shit. Uh, by the way, for Taliwa, for scale, this thing is a little bit bigger than the than the than your elder dragon form. Oh shit! <laughs> this thing literally burst the palace, and everything came tumbling down. It's a real mess down there, and as you can imagine, the entire city is now panicking. Uh, Marcus makes his way out of the rubble, and he shout starts shouting angrily at the Fate Weaver. This is not what we agreed on. What are you doing? You're endangering my people! Shut up, Marcus. You're just an incompetent fool. I gave you all this power. I gave you this opportunity, and yet you still disappoint me and waste my time. The, sh the, the artifact is finally assembled. I don't need any of you. You can all just die.